What's going on guys? So today for our custom, we're gonna be looking at this uh, Master Chief from the Spartan Collection. Uh, this is the Series 4 one. I saw this guy at Walmart for a while. I was waiting for him to go on clearance, but that never happened and they started selling out. So I got this one. But my problem with this one is that neck is too long. Also from the reviews, I saw this torso has almost zero articulation. So really I'm just gonna work on that neck and then if that works out pretty well, we're probably gonna move on to the torso and I'm gonna see if I can add any articulation there. I'm thinking like a ball joint from the from down here into the tor or the waist, not the torso, the waist and then back up to the chest. So two ball pins right there, or ball joints right there might uh, help that out. But let's get this guy out of the box and take a look. All right, so getting this guy out of the box, uh, he's pretty good at posing. The shoulders come up about that high. Elbows are good. I uh, wish there was like a butterfly in there because putting this hand like he's trying to shoot is kind of hard. It keeps wanting to pop out. But also this gun is super rubbery. Like it flexes a lot when you're moving it around. I guess it's better than it being super brittle or too stiff. The head is a little bit of down and a little bit of up. Not very much though and there's a, not really any kind of tilt. Uh, the torso, like I said, has like almost none. If you're looking from the side, it's like that far back and like that far forward. So I mean really nothing there. The waist is pretty good. You can kick out forward, not very much back. And then the knees are awful. They're so ugly. You want to get them in a crouch position or like a kneeling position. Pretty bad down there. So what we're going to try to do first, oh, and then the accessories. It comes with this gun and then the open hand, the gun holding hand, and then it comes with like this pointer finger hand. And then some fists. He gets a fist from each side, and then this gun. So, I mean, they're pretty good. Uh, I like the figure. It's kind of heavy, too. It feels pretty good. Uh, the only thing is this head. The neck is so long, and I thought maybe it'd be simple just to kind of, like, dribble out a little bit. Let me put the neck back on there. It's kind of hot. You probably can't see it on the camera, but there's not very much room in the back. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to dremel out than I thought initially, but I'll probably just dremel out the whole head and then use some blue tack to stick it on there. Maybe some hot glue. The waist, I'm gonna try to do something with it. It has like this part that is where the ball clicks in at the bottom. So this part's like flat. So if you're adding articulation there, it's just kind of like, it's not going to really look right when it bends forward, so I'm clip back on. But if it leans forward or back, it's not going to look very good at all. So if I'm going to mess with it, I'm probably going to sand down around the edges so it's a little bit more, uh, like it's a little more circular. So it's not just like a flat piece, it's kind of like an oval there, so it has some room to move. But I don't know if we're going to get to that part. I might try it out. I mean, this guy was only like $20, so if I mess up the waist, it'll be okay. But yeah, it has a ball peg on the top. Or no, it's that piece. So yeah, I'd have to add two balls. I'd probably steal that from like an extra DC multiverse or something like that. So I'm going to go dremel out the head and then we'll see what we come up with. All right, so now we're to this point. Uh, I think the head is pretty good there, but I dribbled it out far enough that 
If I wanted to go a little bit higher, I can. I really didn't think I needed to go any lower than that. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's getting kind of close to that raised point right there. But I mean, I think that looks way better already. And he still has a little bit of down and up. Not as much, but I think that's a pretty good sacrifice for the neck being a little bit shorter. So what I did here is I took, you can see I kind of, it's pretty gnarly in there. But I took this Dremel bit and just kind of went to town dremeling in there. And then, well, I'd, whoops, dropped that one. This one would, I'd lead with this one got more of a point on it kind of a dremel down in there and then use that bigger one to uh, open it up a little bit because that neck is pretty thick on there but if I want to raise it later I dremeled out far enough that I can take some of this blue tack and just kind of shove it in there I might put a little bit in there to help it stick to the ball Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. But I mean, that's going to keep it. It'll stay on there without that. This one is, the tip's pretty close to the size of the ball peg. I mean, it's just a little bit bigger towards the base. Oops, you can't see. It's a little bit bigger towards the base. But I mean, that's perfect for dremeling down into that hole. With the blue tack, I mean, it's staying on there. It's not going to pop off. I mean, it's the head, so you're not really going to have him posed upside down or anything. Uh, going back and looking at it, this might be a little bit too much. I'm worried that it'll, you'll be able to see because it comes down pretty flush with that belt right there. So that might be too much. But one thing that really bugs me about this guy is there's no butterfly joint so i mean really the arms are getting about that far and so whenever you're trying to pose him with a gun i mean he's not going to come across his chest in this weapon holding hand there's also no oh there is bicep swivel so is this one stuck maybe no it's not stuck that I mean, you're not going to really get him holding the weapon very well. It just keeps popping loose. I mean, I can twist that all the way around. So I might look at... Let me pop this arm up. There's a lot of room in there. And so it might be better just to try to dremel that out around there. And find some way to plug this in still that might be better to try to get some kind of range so i'd like to have this guy posed with the weapon it's tight in there yeah so i really want him to be able to hold the weapon i don't know that the shoulders would have to come out i might look around at it and see what i can do but I mean, for the head, I think this is a good spot to be in. It's not quite as low as I would like it, but I think this is about as low as I'm getting uh, without losing just all of the articulation. So for the, when I dremel down in there, usually, I mean, there's not really a good way to tell when you're getting to the top, but I keep my finger on there, and you can usually feel when it starts getting kind of hot and you know you're getting pretty close to the end point. So, if you can, I don't think you can probably see in there, you see that piece of gray down in there. I started getting kind of close to this visor, and I knew, because I had my hand like this when I was dremeling down, and I knew because I started feeling it getting kind of hot right there. So, I mean, you just, just take it slow, and you can get that... Uh, you can get that dremel down pretty easily. So, I mean, there's the fix right now. I'll probably upload this uh, because I'm probably not going to look at any other parts for a while. But 
there's the head fix. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, hopefully this helps out somebody. Thanks.